the relationship between Eleanor and Etzel and their staff was progressive and democratic, based on mutual respect. The staff quarters were generous and comfortable. The Fords provided fully furnished quarters here on the estate adorned with original artwork. In addition to the three residences in the Gate Lodge, several more staff lived in the Ford house itself. Many of the other staff members had their own homes located nearby. Workers were meant to feel like an integral part of the estate. The longevity of service for many of the estate staff speaks volumes about their treatment. Christian Froland was the head gardener on the estate. He lived in the South Cottage with his wife and two teenage children. Like Jensen, Froland was from Denmark. The Ford staff was a team of immigrants. Members of the staff were from Sweden, Denmark, Ireland, Scotland, Germany, Switzerland, and England. Eleanor and Etzel deeply appreciated, valued, and cared for their staff and their staff's children. The Fords gave gifts to the staff on special occasions and throughout the year. Here's Arthur Fowser, Jr. When I finished high school in June of 1942 at St. Paul's, Mr. Ford came to our house. First time he was there. And he gave me a gold Hamilton watch. Engraved on it was to AWF, my initials from EBF. I really treasured that watch, not because it was such a good watch, which it certainly was, but because it came from Mr. Ford. <laughs> 